Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2018 Toyota Highlander XLE. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're in the market for a new vehicle, this one or otherwise, I wrote a killer article on my website about how to buy a new car for the lowest price, and I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. All right, so here we are. We're going to take a look at the 2018 Highlander today. Uh, it says, let's explore. Right here it says, let's explore every possibility. Well, you know what? We're going to explore all of the details about this vehicle. We can see that it starts at 31230 Now, we're going to be doing the XLE, and that starts at 39000 and change, actually. But we can see the base model starts at just over $31,000. It's got a fuel economy of 21 in the city, 27 on the highway. Let's get some angle shots here so we can get all the way around this thing. Not bad looking. It's okay. Midnight Black Metallic, it comes in. Blizzard Pearl White. Celestial Silver Metallic. Pre-Dawn Gray. Salsa Red. Ooh La La Rouge. Uh, toasted Walnut, Aluminum Jade, and lastly, Shoreline Blue, which I think the Shoreline Blue, I'm not really a blue car person, but the Shoreline Blue actually doesn't look bad. So you can see that there are eight models of the Toyota Highlander. Three of those models are hybrid, right? You got the hybrid LE, XLE, and the Limited, right? They should have the same options on them. The only thing that's going to be different is the powertrain. You're going to have a a hybrid powertrain instead of an all-gas engine. That's the only difference. But we're not messing with the hybrids. We're just looking at the gas engines. And from the gas engine standpoint, you've got the LE that starts at $31,000 on up to the limited that's $42,000. So there's more or less an $11,000 price difference between these things, between all of them. We're going to come in at the middle of the road XLE, and here's why. Here's why. For the typical Highlander shopper, I recommend the XLE. Why? Because it's priced in the middle of the Highlander range. I mean, well, sort of, kind of. I mean, it's $40,000-ish, but here's the deal. It comes standard with the V6, right? The V6 is the good motor on this car. Uh, it adds several decent extras to the Highlander's already rich list of standard features, including blind spot monitor, rear cross-traffic alert, leather seats, heated front seats, and keyless entry and ignition. All right, keyless entry and entry, keyless entry and ignition. Sorry. There's also optional all-wheel drive if you need the extra control. You can certainly get by with the LE, right, or the more extravagant Limited, right. You can spend forty something thousand dollars on the Limited, or you can go super dirt cheap and get an LE. But here's the deal: pay a little bit more if you have it. Get the XLE, and you're basically gonna, you're basically going to have everything that you want in the EXE. EX. E-L-E, X-L-E, <laughs> that's what I think. Anyway, so what we're going to do here is we're going to check some Highlander highlights. You can see that right here. We're going to check some highlights really fast, and we'll check out some interior, exterior photos, and we'll check out some interior photos as well, and then we're going to go ahead and go through the rest of the features. The features, we'll, we'll get deep details on like the interior features, performance de uh, details, all that information. Uh, safety features, the technology features. So that way, when we come out the other end of that, you're going to really know. If you're in the market, you want to know about this 2018 Highlander. By the time we get done, you're going to know about the Highlander. Then we're going to build in price an XLE. All right, so let's get into it, and let's start by going over some highlights real fast. For an interior highlight, we got uh, a premium interior, offers space for up to eight people, right? So a lot of seating. Five USB ports for charging on the go, a ton of cargo space, and a whole lot more. That's pretty cool. Got a good interior. But here's the deal. Every car, no matter how good it is, has pros and cons. The Toyota Highlander is no different. Here's a few pros really fast before we move on. Number one, just right exterior and interior size for many families. I thought it was notable since we're talking about the interior. Number two, standard high-tech safety features, right? We kind of already talked about that a little bit. You get a lot of, you get a lot for your money with these cars. Uh, number three, strong V6 engine with good fuel economy, all right? Worth noting, 3.5 liter V6. Number four, quiet, uh, very quiet and pleasantly compliant ride, 
All right, those are good pros. Let's move on to the next module, and then we'll also check the cons. Okay, under design here, it says it's got a bold front grill. That grill is bold, or maybe it's just big. Maybe it should just say big front grill. A big front grill available, that means optional, right? Remember, this word means optional. It means that your car doesn't come with it unless you option it. So a bold front grill, you got the available daytime running lights, which is this strip right here. And available dark black accent headlights make a powerful first impression. So, yes, we will learn more about the design in a second, but let's cover those cons. We already talked about the pros a second ago. Let's talk about the cons. There are one, two, three, there's four of them. Number one, the third row seat isn't as roomy as those in many competitors. Two, the touchscreen and other controls may require extra long reach. So maybe it's not very ergonomic. I don't know. Number three. Undesirable base four-cylinder engine. Well, guess what? Now that we're getting to the XLE, you see where I'm going? You don't even have to worry about that base engine because you know the base engine is underpowered and can't t pull around this big, heavy vehicle. And then number four, as far as cons, and to me, this is the biggest one, even worse than that engine for 2018, is that there is no available Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I mean, how can you drop the ball on that tech in 2018? That's like standard fare. That's standard fare. At any rate, let's move on. Performance. Highlander features an available direct injection, direct injected 3.5 liter V6 engine plus a direct shift 8-speed uh, automatic transmission for, a professor, for, for impressive performance. Here's the thing, you know, <clears throat> I think the Highlander specializes in what most mid-sized SUV shoppers want. They want solid performance around town, and they want a spacious, high-quality interior. I think the cherry on top with this Highlander is that you get both of those things, but then you get a whole bunch of standard driver assist features, too. I think that's what's cool. And speaking of that, you have the standard Toyota Safety Sense. Okay, Toyota Safety Sense is a bundle of active safety features on many new Toyota vehicles at no additional cost. These innovative features were designed to help protect you and your passengers from harm. Okay, so we've gone over the overview page. Let's go check the gallery really fast, look at some images, check out some interior photos, check out some exterior photos, and then let's go get to the features so we can learn more about the, the technology, learn more about the performance, learn more about the design, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You ready? Let's go. Okay, there's just 10 exterior photos they put a little blurb down here at the bottom. Uh, I may or may not read that. If you want to read that, just make sure you do. If I'm going a little quick, just pause the video really fast to make sure you get your read in. So here they're showing an SE all-wheel drive shown in midnight black metallic. There's a side shot of the same vehicle. Uh, there's probably the same vehicle, but yeah, it is. But they're saying that there's optional uh, running boards that you can get, a roof rail crossbars, and a tow hitch. There's everybody still running. Right? The kids are still running. They got to be tired. Those kids are still running. They got to be tired. Because uh, they look like they're going to be here for a while. He's in no rush. And she doesn't look to be in a hurry either. So they're going to be running for a while. At any rate, there's the vehicle again. All right. Now it's out on the road. This is a limited shown in Ooh La La Rouge. And then back to the SE, climbing up. The, we saw this picture before. Uh, and then here they are in the city. This is a hybrid. They're showing in Blizzard Pearl with the Platinum package. And then there's a closer look at that gigantic front end or the grill. Uh, there's some more running kids. I mean, yeah, anyway, I'm not even going to keep going with that. Uh, and so then there's a limited shown in Ooh La La Rouge with available Platinum package. All right, let's move on. And those kids need to slow down. I mean, they really need to stop running. All right, interior photos. And this one is a nice one. Let me scroll down and see what that says. Limited interior shown in saddle tan with available platinum package. Right? We probably won't even have the platinum package option on the XLE. All right, there's those kids again. This is an XLE interior shown in ash with available rear seat Blu-ray disc player. Look at that. Rear seat entertainment. Which show which vehicle which vehicle shown is not in motion? Right, gotcha. All right, um, there's your wireless charging pad right there. I, no, maybe not. Maybe it's just a spot to put your phone. 
But you can see the USB cord is right there. They've done a really good job of hiding the cord. They've done a really good job of hiding the cord. Uh, but yeah, there is the uh, there is the interior. This is a platinum package. It's probably going to be not, but won't matter to us. There is a not shot of the rear view entertainment again. Here is showing its sto store, you know, fold down and utility right here. Uh, and then lastly, we've got what a limited interior shown in black with available platinum. Pa so they love the platinum package apparently. I mean, it must be the the main one because. Basically, they keep showing that and talking about it. All right, but there's the big panoramic roof, and let's move on to the features. Okay, so you can see right here, we've got several features to go through. Interior, performance, learn all about that Toyota safety sense, right, which we kind of learned about that in the overview. Design, safety, and technology. With that said, let's jump into the interior. Okay, starting with the interior, First thing they're going to show us, those five USB ports. There's three of them up front and two in the back. So everybody can plug in their favorite portable devices. Then they've got seating for up to eight available second row captain's chairs, help of uh, help Highlander comfortably seat seven, and offer the same great versatility. So you can have two bench seats or you can get captain's chairs in that second row. So you can have a bench second row to get eight people or a captain's chairs, and now you have seven people. Kind of no different than, like, what, a Tahoe or something. Here they're talking about their cargo space. It's got the 60-40 split third row seat. has the ability to fold flat and recline to accommodate your needs. You're going to have a, a ton of storage space with all these seats down, for sure. Here they're talking about their quiet interior. <clears throat> Highlander has silencing insulation materials along its floor to help keep things quiet, as well as acoustic-type glass in the windshield to further reduce noise entering the cabin. Panoramic moonroof, uh, and it's available. It's an option. It doesn't come standard. Uh, it's part of the Platinum package. I don't know if the Platinum package is going to be available on the XLE. If it is, we'll take a good look at it. But it really depends on what the price is, and I'm not sure if it's going to be available or not. We will find that out. And here, it's kind of redundant now. They keep showing that rear seat entertainment. So uh, it's got a Blu-ray disc. Uh, it's a 9-inch display screen. It's got RCA jacks, a remote, and two wireless headphones. Okay, here we are in the performance. We went through all the interior. On the performance here, they're talking about that 3.5-liter V6, right? It's direct injection. It gives this vehicle a perfect blend of power and efficiency, so they say. It's got next-generation technologies. Uh, it's an advanced engine, made it to a sophisticated 8-speed transmission. Supposedly all going to give you more control and with decent gas mileage. So we know that we're getting the good motor. The XLE comes with the more desirable 3.5 liter V6. Then over here, the redundant fuel economy. They just want to go over that one more time to let you know that this is not only an ultra-low emissions vehicle, but it's an efficient engine that gets pretty good gas mileage. 27 on the highway. Is that good? I'm not sure. They seem to think it is. Here they're talking about their uh, stop-start engine technology. They call it SNS. It's available on V6 gas-powered Highlanders. And what this technology does is shut off the engine when you're like at a stoplight. And when you take your foot off the brake, by the time you're taking your foot off the brake to get it over to the gas, the car will start back up. I had a, I had a BMW 2015 BMW X1 that had that feature. And thank goodness you, there was a button on the on the console that you could turn that off. You could just turn that feature off. I think the feature is cool, but I'm not a fan. I think it's a great feature, but I'm not a fan, and I don't know if I'll ever be a fan of it, but this one has it, but they don't say whether or not you can turn this feature off and on, so we don't know that. If you get this in all-wheel drive, you can get available dynamic torque control, uh, and what does this do? It distributes engine power from front to rear and manages the vehicle's braking system from side to side, giving you better control. Oh, okay, here's that towing capacity. I was wondering about the towing capacity on this thing. 5,000 pounds, but that's surely not with the, with the base engine. That's probably with the, with the V6 engine. Um, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Highlander can be equipped to tow up to 5,000 pounds. So... You probably got to get the trailering package, and you probably have to have the three three and a half liter V6 to do it. 
All right, let's learn some features of the Toyota Safety Sense. All right, we already went through the performance. You can see right up here. We already did interior. We did performance. Now we're on Toyota Safety Sense. All right, then we're going to do design, safety, and technology. Toyota Safety Sense, here's one of the features. Lane departure alert with steering assist. Now, I'm not reading this whole book. This is practically a book down here. I'm not going to read all of it. But what it says is, under certain circumstances, this system is designed to detect lane departure on roads with clear markings. If the road's not uh, marked clearly, you're SOL. If you don't know what SOL means, Google it. Anyway, this is only active when you're traveling at speeds above 32 miles an hour. All right? Vehicles equipped with this um, says when you hear and see the alert after checking carefully around you, you should safely direct your vehicle back to the center of your lane. So basically, it's just going to alert you. It's just going to alert you. Um, and it seems like down here it says that when it's activated and senses that you're unintentionally drifting, the system may automatically make small corrective steering inputs to help you uh, help your vehicle stay in its lane. So it's also an active system. If it can control some of those inputs, then it's also an active system. Then you have dynamic radar cruise control, right? Now, this is interesting. If a driver is traveling slower than you or within your preset range, the DRCC will automatically slow your vehicle down without deactivating cruise control. If DRCC determines you need to slow down more, an audio or visual alert notifies you and brakes are applied. So, you know, this Toyota safety sense is pretty interesting because the systems are very alert and they're also, so far, seemingly active systems. All right, check it out. Pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. Uh, using an in-vehicle camera and radar to help detect the vehicle or a pedestrian in front of you, the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection can help you mitigate or avoid potential collision. Then it says down here at the bottom, if you don't brake in time, it may automatically apply the brakes to reduce your speed, helping to minimize the likelihood of a frontal collision or reduce its severity. There's a guy right here or something right there, and it's paying attention. Lastly, for the Toyota Safety Sense, you have automatic high beams, and that is exactly what it is. It says it's designed to activate at speeds above 25 miles an hour. Uh, basically, it'll automatically turn off those high beams and stuff if you're, like, bright in somebody's face, right? It, it, the vehicle's smart like that, so that's pretty cool. It can automatically toggle between high and low beams accordingly to provide the appropriate amount of light and not blind out somebody at the same time, so that's cool. Let's move on to design. Well, they're very proud of that big old grill because they keep talking about it. They call it a front fascia. I just want to call it a huge front front grill. It's just it's just big. Looks very Lexus. Looks very Lexus, but just with the Toyota emblem on it. That's all. Uh, so what do they say? Dynamic front grill, expressive headlights, bold first impression. Uh, uh, it perfectly matches my style, apparently. All right, hold on, because it says, there's a Highlander that perfectly matches your style. Well, the one that would match my style wouldn't have this whole grill in there. So is there a Highlander that matches my style in that case? I think not. All right, now what's this SE grade? What's this all about? Turn up the attitude. The distinctive Highlander SE grade stands apart with its bold gloss black, they can't stop with the grill, gloss black grill and headlights and unique black housing, exclusive 19-inch multi-spoke wheels, Help this SUV show off its sporty side. And inside, aggressively striped, aggressively styled stripes on the seats remind all passengers that this SUV is always up for some. Up for some what? Up for some what? More horsepower to be added to it? Because it's probably underpowered. Tell me about the lighting. Let's shine a light on everything. Okay. Expressive headlights now feature integrated daytime running lights, amplifying the 2008-18 Highlander signature look. The stylish SE grade ups the excitement with its dark black accent headlights with Highlander Limited Platinum, has a powerful presence of its own, da 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 Every Highlander gets brilliant LED taillights for added visibility. Why don't they say that? There we go. That was the whole end of that whole thing. Um, all right, let's move on. Alloy wheels. Tell me about the alloy wheels because I love them. Highlander shows off its athletic side with a selection of available alloy wheels. The, support, the sporty Highlander SE has 19-inch multi-spoke wheels with machine finish. Highlander Limited Platinum has an added touch of sophistication with 19-inch five-spoke dark chrome tech. That's these wheels right here, chrome tech alloy wheels. 
Let's see, under safety, we see there the star safety system. This is a suite of active safety features that include enhanced vehicle stability, traction control, anti-lock brakes, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, and smart stop technology. All right. Maybe we, let's take a second to uh, check the specs on that. Or maybe not. That just really went to a page that would kick you and show you which vehicles came with which which things. And we'll go take a look at that in a minute, but let's not do that now. Eight airbags. So an advanced airbag system helps protect you and your family with a drive with driver and front passenger dual stage airbags, driver and front passenger seat mounted side airbags, a driver knee airbag bag, a front passenger seat cushion airbag, and roll sensing side curtain airbags for all rows. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's move on. What else do we have for safety? We got the child uh, latch, the lower anchors and tethers for child seats. That's pretty sta that's standard equipment. Everybody's got to have that. They didn't even have to put that in a paragraph because everybody has to have that in their car. And then lastly, you got the tire pressure monitoring system. But I guess you know what? Seeing that this is all geared for families, that's why they point that out because it's geared for families. Because look, every picture are those kids running. They're still running. They're running. But so you got the tire pressure monitor system. And that's good because as a parent, mom, whoever's driving, it's important. You need to know these things. You need data. Are my tires low, right? Does the car have the latch system for putting in the car seats and all that? All that stuff's relevant. All right, let's move on to technology. Lastly, okay, bird's eye view camera. Highlander's optional bird's eye view camera helps you see nearby objects and get into and out of the smallest spaces with ease. The system includes perimeter scan, an innovative feature that displays the live rotating 360 degree views of your surroundings when you're parked. Then my favorite tech feature, if you watch any of my videos, do you know this? If you don't watch any of my videos, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Anyway, blind spot monitor and rear cross traffic alert, right? There's an optional feature. It's not standard. It's designed to heighten your awareness on the road by alerting you when a vehicle enters a blind spot on either side. Rear cross traffic alert works similarly. You know, you're backing out at the grocery store or whatever, and a car flying down that lane, it's going to catch that before you, so you don't have to back out in front of that guy. So these are my two favorite features. Blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert. I love that. What is driver easy speak? It says available driver easy speak features built-in microphone up front that picks up your voice and transmits it to rear seat passengers through the back speakers so you don't have to yell you don't have to turn up your voice to yell how nice is that hilarious intune multimedia bundle with the available intune multimedia bundle highlander has the tech to make any drive a whole lot more fun available eight inch high resolution touchscreen integrated navigation suite of popular apps uh, it's got integrated Sirius XM satellite radio compatibility, 150 channels. We all know about, everybody knows about what Sirius XM radio is all about, so I won't have to dig into that. Let's move on and check out the next thing. Three zone automatic climate control. Nothing wrong with that. So the people in the back can control their AC and heat and everything too. Very, very cool. Uh, it says, is this standard equipment? Seems to be standard equipment. I don't see any words that say available. Like it's an option or something. Seems like it's standard equipment so far. I think it, no, available on Highlander. There it is. So it's not standard. It says the three zone climate control available on Highlander features, da, 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 da. So it's not standard. So we're going to price, we're going to, when we build and price our XLE, I'm going to do it nicely. I'm not going to try to bust the bank because I'm, I'm sure it's going to be missing a few of these little things, but I'm going to try to put all everything in place so that we can get a nice one. And then if you like the way I build and price, Check the description below because I've already got the summary, the build summary, already in the description on how I'm going to build and spec this uh, Highlander XLE. But let's move on. Speaking of specs, let's check the specs really, really fast. Let's Just a few key specs, not everything, and then we'll get into the build and price. Okay, so we're over here on specs, and the XLE that we're building out is over here in this first column. You can't get rid of these other ones. So here's the top of the line limited, just so you know. And then that SE they used to keep talking about. But we're over here in the XLE. And I'm under multimedia, okay? And I just want to see what kind of technology. I just want to check the tech. We got the Intune Premium Audio with integrated navigation, all right? Let's double check that. 
uh, eight inch screen, high resolution, AM, FM, uh, USB ports, iPod connectivity, Bluetooth. All right, so we got we have good tech. I want to check that. That's important. I want to check the tech. And we have the Intune app suite includes real-time info, including traffic, weather, fuel prices, sports, stocks, all that other stuff like that. All right, cool. Let's check a few other things. I want to know, finally, and then we'll get out of here, I just want to know what packages can we get on the XLE. Now, if you look up here at the key, if it's standard, it's got a checkbox. If it's available, it's got a circle around it. And if it's not available, there's just a line through it. So remember, we're this first column. So we can get the Blu-ray disc. We can get the seating for seven. We cannot get the platinum package. We cannot get the platinum package. So that's what I really wanted to know because that included a bunch of things. What did that have? That had uh, that panoramic moon roof, the bird's eye camera, just a few things. A few things. I don't, I don't think we're going to miss out on much, but I wanted to double check that. All right. Now let's go to the building price. Okay. We're over here on the building price page. I've got the XLE selected. Remember, it starts at $40,580. All right, let's go to the next step. The next step was to show us this engine, all right? Three and a half liter V6 engine, comes with all wheel drive, eight speed transmission. It's got 295 horsepower, makes 263 pound feet of torque. It's a 24 valve uh, engine. It's got that eight speed electronic control, automatic transmission. And that's your only engine option. Let's go on to colors. Okay, so for colors, what do we have here? This is the ash leather. I think I want to do black leather. And, oh, it gave us another color. Did you see that? Some colors went away. Depending on what interior trim you have, I'm not going to do that. It, it added or removes color. So if I want black leather, I want to do black leather. And let's just do the, let's do the blizzard pearl. I mean, I kind of like the blue actually but i usually lean towards the whites but have you but do note that the blue is my runner up color but we're going to do uh the blizzard white but i also like the shoreline blue let's just keep that let's just make that a fact uh so the white paint is going to cost us another 395 that's cool with that okay here we are under packages now do we want the second row bench seat i don't need seating for 8 so i'm going to say no uh do we want that rear seat entertainment because that's really what it comes down to. It's it's basically eighteen. It's eighteen hundred dollars. Do you want the? Do you need the Blu-ray? Do you need the rear seat entertainment? I don't need the Blu-ray, so I'm not going to mess with it. We're not going to we're not going to option ours with that with that package. So let's move on to accessories. All right. Seeing that there wasn't much, not much to do on packages, let's 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 mess with accessories. We want the alloy wheel locks. I want the all-weather floor liners package because you see it gives you the floor liners in the back too as well i want that package i don't need the ball mount uh the body side moldings that's this here no the cargo cover yep i want a cargo cover that should come standard really look at this cargo liner see how it's right up on the back seat so they don't get scuffed well can i get that too okay uh i don't need any of these totes or storages or anything i definitely need the i definitely want the mats the carpet mat package but I don't need that whole package for 224. I just want the summer mats when I want to have summer mats for 129. The door edge guards right here. Uh, that could save your doors. And it doesn't really look ugly. Yes. For a family van, yes. First aid kit, yes. Uh, the four season package. Oh, they give you everything, huh? But I don't need the carpet mat. Maybe the four season package might not be. It's probably the way to go. Let's view the details. No, it's not the way to go because they give you the carpeted floor mats and they give you all weather floor liners, but they give you a carpet cargo mat. They don't give you the all weather liner. So no, nope, nope, nope. They skimped on you. They skimped at the end. Okay, what else is there? What else is there? I think rear bumper applique. I like the rear bumper protector right there. Right, because when you're pulling groceries and junk, it always get the bumper always gets scratched right there. So yeah, we're gonna have the bumper rear bumper protector, uh, remote engine starter. I like that. The running boards, I like that. And universal tablet. No, 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 no. I think we're all good. Let's go over to the summary. All right, so this was forty thousand five hundred eighty dollars. Uh, we we had to spend a little extra money on our paint. 
And here's our miscellaneous accessories. Do keep in mind that those are just accessories. You don't have to option your Highlander with any of that stuff. And if you don't option it with any of that stuff, you're going to save yourself quite a bit of money. So, but all in, we're $42,855, which basically is the starting price of a limited. But I don't think there's probably much to add to a limited either. So, you know, if there's really nothing to add to a limited, do you still get an XLE or do you go ahead and get the limited? I guess it just depends on if you're adding options or not, right? That's the thing. Is the is the limited at the top of the fuel at, at the top of the fuel food chain, and you don't need to add anything else, or is it really a forty five or forty six thousand dollar vehicle after you get all the stuff you want? That's the question. If it, if it is, then that makes the XLE the real honey of the bunch, I think. Anyway, if you've made it to the end, you're awesome. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm going to save this build summary so that way you can download it. And uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I promise I'm going to keep going. I'm going to put out new content. Got lots of ideas. And so please, please stay tuned. Have a great day.